Hello, hello, day 12. <sighs> for example, for example. Okay, this device for height map the surrounding area. Height map shows the local area from above broken into a grid. Elevation is from A, a is the lowest up to Z is the highest. Also included are S, which is start, and E, which is end, has elevation A, and get the best signal E has elevation Z. You'd like to reach E, but to save energy, you should do it in as few steps as possible. During each step, you move exactly one square up, down, left, and right to avoid needing to get out of your climbing gear. The elevation of your destination square can be at most one higher than the elevation of your current square. That is, if your current elevation is M, you can go to N, but not O. It means that the elevation of the destination square can be much lower than the elevation of your current square. <clears throat> okay. So A, B, C, C, C. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 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 Y, Z, and over. Uh, what is the fewest steps required? So 31 steps. This is kind of what our stuff looks like. They warn you that you might have to go down. Well, let's just go ahead and grab this anyway right now, right? Just so it's here. Save, and then we'll go back. Okay. <clears throat> so. <laughs> right. So. Two array and two array gives me a char array array. Start is um, negative one. Let's see. Negative one, negative one. End is negative one, negative one. Uh, let's go find ourselves for int x is zero, x is less than data length. Double plus x for int y is 0, y is less than data length, double plus y. Okay, if uh, data at start end, oops, at uh, x, y, hello, data x, y is s. And start is x, y, right? And then also data x, y is a. If data x, y is e, and is x, y, Data x, y is z. Console right line. Start is start. And is end. Okay. Zero, zero, negative one, negative one. S and E. Okay, uh, that doesn't, is E, and is that, Why? oh, this is a length, by the way, this is data zero length. I don't think, yeah, there you go, that was actually a problem. All right, two five. Okay, um, easy enough, right? Uh, so we need to get from there to there. So um, we could uh, sort of explore this in a 
Um, we could, uh, let's see. We could only go up or down. Only up one or down as many as we'd like. So one of the things we could do is, um, given, let's see. Let's try and do long compute. Let's see, compute distance to end of X and Y. First thing we'll do is if uh, X, Y is equal to end, uh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. if X, Y is equal to end, then we can return zero. Um, Otherwise, what we want to do is we want to look in every direction. Right. Hmm, that's not exactly what we want, though. We have, we want to make sure we don't ever backtrack. Right. Make sure we don't ever backtrack. And the only way to do that is to keep a list of all the places we've been. So let's call this uh, a list of int int a hash set of int int actually is probably better visited. Okay, so var new visited. It's oh, your problem. You don't have the namespace. Let's see. If x is greater than zero, then we can go. Then we can go left. All right, then we can go left. Um, if uh, y is greater than zero, then we can go, we can go down, All right? So if x is less than, uh, less than data length. All right, then we can go right. And then lastly, if y is less than data sub zero dot length, we can go left, or we can go, oh, sorry, up, right? And then we want to take the minimum of each of these. Hmm. Actually, what if we just continue to return hash sets? Um, we want to make sure that we haven't been there yet. So x is greater than zero and not visited contains x minus one y, All right? And not visited contains x plus one y. All right? And not visited contains uh, y plus one x. And not visited contains y minus one x. Okay. So if we're going to go left, um, so this doesn't re just return this. This returns the visited. And. Get the distance to the end. I kind of feel like we also want to know that whether we're done. So we think we're done. <clears throat> All 
right? Um, so if we go left, then um, new visited is new hash set of ant ant visited. A new visited add x minus one y, right? You're going to tell me what? Simplify it. Sure. Okay, so that's the new visited. And then we say return uh, compute distance to end. No. We say there's potential here. Potential. That's not how we get out of this, is it? Yeah, that's right. So potentials. Uh, so the potential, uh, let's see. Um, let's do this. Hash set ant ant uh, potential null to start, right? Potential, let's see, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, this doesn't feel very optimized, but I kind of want to just get the thoughts out of my head and see where I land on all this, and then that'll help me figure out whether or not I think I'm doing this right or not. Um, uh, result is... Um, Compute distance to end of x minus 1, y. Um, and then we visited. We say if potential is null or potential count is greater than result count, then potential equals result. Um, potential, this is visited, and then this is finished. Actually, I don't. Yeah, I don't think we need finished here. I just think we need this. If we're here, then we're done. Um, <clears throat> potential is the result. We need to do this over and over again. Well, so let's do um, void visit potential x, y, right? And then we'll say if not visited uh, contains x, y, contains x, y. Now let's do, that. let's do it this way. So if you contain it, then you're done. Otherwise, we do this. We do that, right? And then the new visited is going to be this, x, y. All right. Uh, right. So then that's all we need there. And then we say visit potential x minus one y. I think that's what we need, right? And then we'll say this potential x plus one comma y. Then we'll say this, the visit potential x, y, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, minus one, 
Alright, and then this. Alright, then we'll say visit potential x, y plus 1. Alright, and then return potential. If potential is null, throw new invalid operation exception. Uh, let's put a message in here, which is could not, let's see, could not find potential path from, um, could not find potential path from right. Uh, could I find potential path from x, y? All right, and then I need to new x and new y, right? So um, we need to know that it's valid. Uh, so in order for that to be true, we need to know if uh, data x, y plus one, uh, yeah, plus one is less than or equal to data of new x, new y. Uh, is how about greater? Then that doesn't work, All right? So this will say if the space you're on plus a letter is greater than the space you're going to, then you can't go. That, that's the other part of this problem, right? Um, so I think what we want to do then is just say compute distance to end from start X to start Y. All right. Our result is that and then return result count. Hmm. Start X. K. X Y is end. That's okay. Start X. Start Y. That's just because we didn't do X and Y. Ah. All right. X and Y. Now let's see what happens here. And why are you upset? Compute distance to end. Oh, we need the visited. Visited is a new hash set of int int. And the initial value is start. Right, because that's us. Compute distance to end with the visited list. Let's see what happens here. Couldn't find a potential path from zero, zero. Um, all right, let's step through this and make sure that we understand what's going on here. Okay, so we're gonna start in uh, x, y of zero, zero. Makes sense, we're not at the end. So the potential is null. So we can't go left. We can, however, go right. Um, let's step in. So new x is one and new y is zero. Visited will not contain one zero, so that's okay. So data of x, y, right? So let's do data of x, y, data of new x, new y is an A, so that's okay. Oh no, this is a less than, that's why. It means a less than. Now what happens when we run this? Index out of range. Wait a minute. Index out of range. Um, that's line 47. Line 47. So new x and new y somehow got out of range. Hmm, these probably have to be like this. All right, so we're probably running over the edge like that. No, nope, that's not it. 
Okay, let's step through it again then. Okay, so we start at zero, zero. And yep, that's fine. So we start at zero, zero. We're gonna try one, zero. <clears throat> that's okay, that's okay. So the new visited is now zero, zero, one, zero, yes. Uh, compute distance to end of, oh, I don't know why this is a negative one. That's probably because I copy pasted this. Now it's wrong. How about now? Do you work now? No, but you're getting further. 66, couldn't find a potential path from zero, one. Well, that's interesting. So we believe our path is, Let's do a quick notepad on this, right? So we believe it's zero, zero, zero to zero, one, to one, one, to uh, one, two, to two, two, to uh, two, three, to two, four, to three, four, to four, four, Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, all the way over to five, four, six, four. How many of these are there? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right to seven, four. Let's see if let's see if we can let's see if we can see that at least, right? All right, over here, let's debug. Okay, so we're currently at zero, zero. Let's take a look at x, y, and new x, new y. And then potential, and then new visited, result. Yeah, that's what we wanna look at, okay. So hop in here, so we're gonna go from zero, zero to one, zero. Um, from zero, zero to one, zero. I think what we wanna do is, I'm now realizing that we don't wanna do this. I think we just wanna return potential and allow this to return null. Right, and then say if potential is null or result is not equal to null and this, right, is that gonna help us out? That gives us 32, 32 steps instead of 31. That's possible that we did not exactly compute the right step, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, if result is null, throw new invalid operation, could not find any path. For each var item in results, uh, console write line item, let's see what our path is. So zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, two, one, Three one three two four two four three. So that's thirty two. That is not the path we wanted. Is it a valid path? So we've got zero zero to one zero, All right to one 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 zero. Potential count. Oh yeah. If potential is null. So we want to say if result is not equal to null first. Then we want to do this. Come on. Don't be like that. 
that's a problem. So you know, now I've got a different problem. Object, reference, blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, this is supposed to be or, not and. Sorry. So we still have 32, and we still want the wrong path. So I think what we want to do is every time we have a distance here, I think what we want to do is we want to do a console right line of string join of uh, visited select b2 string. One, two, three, two, one. Right. And we would also like to say count, visited count. So we found paths of 40, 38, 36, 34, 34, 36, 40, 32. Um, 32, 32. We never found a path of 31. We never found a path of 31. How odd. Do we have anything that starts with 0001? Zero, 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 I'm gonna make this window much wider. You won't be able to see it all. 0001. Zero, 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 all right. Um, zero, 01, one, one. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, 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 three, zero, one, one, one. So these are all the zero, one, one, ones right here. All right, these are all the zero, one, one, ones right here. And we want one, two, 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 three. I don't see any that's one, one, two, 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 three. Did I, did I misunderstand that? Also, here's another question. Um, let's take a look at his data. And the off by one might be me, so here's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. So apparently we're supposed to do one less. Uh, because I see 32 marks here. Well, I guess we'll do this because we don't count the start. That'll still get us 31. And then the question is, what happens when we have the real data? Um, let's get rid of some of these console right lines for the moment. All right, so that gets us 31. And then let's do the real input. Where did our real input go? It's gone, huh? Get my real input. Okay. Save, let's see what happens here. Yeah, I kind of wondered if this was gonna be, gonna be, uh, you know, the crazy long path. Hmm. 
So the other thing we could do is we could short circuit a little bit here, which is given the given how big the data set is, right? It's 41 by 114. 41 by 114. There really isn't, op isn't an optimized way for us to go here, is there? We can, however, short circuit you to say uh, one more time, we'd say if potential is not equal to null and potential count is less than or equal to the visited count, then you can stop. Does that help us? Probably not, but let's see. We should probably, one thing we can do is, um, we probably only ever wanna go up. We probably never wanna go down again. So what we would like to do is to say equal is okay and data x, y plus one being equal to data new x, new y is okay. All right, let's not ever try and go down. Couldn't find any path. That was pretty fast though. Okay. So let's try this because we couldn't find any path. I guess that makes sense. We don't have to return hash sets. Suppose we could return longs. <sighs> I guess what that's saying is we definitely have to go down at some point. Just kind of a bummer. Let's see, how many how many solutions are we finding? Have we found any solutions? I did uncomment that, right? It is weird to me. That we never find this. So let's do that, which is fine. Uh, let's do this here. Let's 
This should limit us to That's really weird. What did I do wrong here? Right, there's no... So this should be a result, this should be a result. A bunch of 38s, a bunch of 40s, a bunch of 38s. Which means we should be bailed out of here. Yeah, I feel like uh, like this recursive solution isn't really exactly what I wanted. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm. I'm not 100% I'm not sure how we get into this situation where I see so many 38s, so many 40s. Right? Potential, once potential is 40, we should never be seeing this again. Are these identical? They look identical as well. That's the other thing that's weird about them, right? One, two, four, two, four, three, four, 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 four five, four, six, four, seven, three, seven, two, seven, one, seven, zero, seven, zero, six, zero, five, zero, four, zero, three, one, three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, two, six. One six one five one four two four two five. They're identical. Why am I seeing the same thing over and over again? This is definitely weird. First of all, you're not computing distance. You're finding the end. If you're already at the end, then just show me everything you visited. You have a potential that's null. one minus one plus one minus one very and there's something I'm missing here about the way this algorithm is working
Um, what if I do, if I do this? We'll just call you a cache, right? Um, we are going to say, let's do a long here, right? If cache contains x, y, then return cache x, y. All right, and then if x, y is equal to the end, then we will return visited count. Visited, yeah, visited count. I guess it's, this would be it. You don't have to be long. <clears throat> I feel like I want to go backwards. All right. Because if you're here, you're zero, right? Distance to end. All right, so if you're here, you're zero. You can actually just go first. If we already know how far it is from there, then we can just give you the value back. All right. Otherwise, we have to go. We're going to visit all the potentials. Decide they're going to be ints. They don't have to be longs, right? Uh, distances add. Distances add. Distances add. Distances add. Turn distances where distances not equal to null. Give me the min value. And then visiting each spot. This is why I think I want to go from the back, right? So given where you are, uh, if I go from the back, hmm. <laughs>
think what I want in the cache is I want to say the end gets zero. Right? I want to say the end gets zero. All right, if the cache contains my spot, then return my spot. Which means what we want to do is we want to say try get value x, y, out, out, var, come on, result, return the result. All right, what I want to do is basically visit every spot and then compute the best value for all of my, everything that's next to me. Yeah, 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 that's kind of what I think I want to do. So I think what I want to do is I want to say current is end, right? Total count is going to be data length times data zero length. That's how big the dictionary needs to be. That's how I know when I'm done. And I'm going to say while, to, uh, while cache count is less than total count, right? I'm going to say given where I currently am, Let's do this as a function. Void compute cost that's oh, fine. Ant X, Ant Y. Total count is out there, that's fine. We're going to say, compute the cost for x, y. All right, first thing we're going to say is if not cash contains x, y, throw new invalid operation exception, cannot compute cost for neighbors of x, y, okay, what is your problem? Chains key, of course. Um, basically, going to say avoid uh, compute neighbor new x new y. Okay, if new x is less than zero or new x is greater than or equal to data length, data length, or new y is less than zero or new y is greater than or equal to data zero length, 
then we already know that's not a valid spot. All right. And we're going to say, um, drag value out var current cost. Okay, so now we have the current cost. Then we're going to say um, if I'm going to say uh, if not um, cash contains a value for x, y, contains a key, sorry, contains a key, then cash of x, y is going to be equal to current cost plus one. Else, let's see, we're going to do a try good value here again. Try good value. Uh, this is new x and new y, by the way. Comma out var uh, current neighbor cost. Math min of the current neighbor cost and current cost plus one, right? Oh. Right? Um, let's see. Compute the neighbor, x minus 1, y, x plus 1, y, x, y minus 1, x, y plus 1, right? And then what if we then console right line? Uh, compute neighbor. Now I want to do compute neighbor. What is it? Compute cost. It's compute cost, isn't it? So we want to do compute cost of and x and y. And then we want to do the cache of start, start x, start y. And we can just return that actually, right? Okay. Zero zero is not present in a dictionary. Let's see, we want to say or that, then we want to do that, and we want to say console right line, 
say what new uh, oh we put the cache in the wrong place of course new x new y is equal to current cost plus one that'd be why we did not compute that right one 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 and then And I think I want to do compute cost on all of these again, right? I think. Which means I need to bail out of here again. X, X, Y, Y. Stack overflow. Hmm. This is really not right. Because there's other other thing I'm sort of failing to take into account here, which is I can only do this if there is See, we need to basically say if um, data x y plus one. See, if we're going to compute the neighbor, we're only allowed to put a value in place. Yeah, this isn't right either. Wow. Oh, what am I going to do? Why is my camera so low? It's because I got a new chair. Let's, sorry, this is just dumb, I realize. Okay, nope, still wrong. Up. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, I look at the data, like I'm starting at the end, right? So let's, co let's copy this. I want you to become a one and nothing else is, is in the cache, right? You're a zero. Okay, so if I put a one there, then I want to visit that one. I want to do that again, right? So I want to visit that again, so that's a two, that that's a three. That's a four, and that's a five. That's that's kind of how I want it to go. All right, that's kind of how I want it to go. We'll leave that there. So 
So the call back into compute cost should be in here, just like it was in here, right? And then, so if that's the case, um, Right, so then what I want to say is I want to say if, um, so my new x needs to be can be the same or less than one, right? So data new x new y plus one is greater than or equal to data of x and y. Then I want to do this. So your potential. You're going to be that, you're going to be that, and then I want to compute the cost for new x and new y. I think that's right. Right? That gets me 31. The question is, if I have my real data, does it actually work? We're making some kind of progress. Let's uh, take some console write lines out of here because they're clearly costing us 380. 380. As you walk up the hill, you suspect the elves will want to turn this into a hiking trail. The beginning isn't very scenic, though. Perhaps you can find a better starting point. To maximize exercise while hiking, the trail should start as low as possible. Elevation A. The goal is still the square mark to you. However, the trail should still be direct, <clears throat> taking the fewest steps to reach its goal. So you'll need to find the shortest path from any square at elevation A to the square marked E. So now instead of just the start, we need to find the smallest version of A. Okay, so I think, I think we have that already now, right? I think we have that already. Um, so this is return the cache there. And then here, what we want is result here is going to be long max value, max value for int uh, x is 0, x is less than data length, double plus x for int y is 0, y is less than data 0 length, double plus y. And we say if data x, y is equal to a, and cache okay, so if if we're equal to a, uh, potential potential is cache x, y, if result, let's see, if potential is less than result, potential is less than result, return, uh, let's see, no, just potential equals the result, and here we're going to return result minus one, now this is result, result equals potential, that's bad, all right, so that should get us 29, well, it got us 28, 
So y minus 1 still. Oh, because now we're counting the space. This path to reach goal is only 29 steps, the fewest possible. Um, maybe that's it. Oh, let's try it on our new data and see what we get. Yeah, the given key is not present in the dictionary. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Um, so that means there's unreachable points that are A's. Hmm. All right. Um, and and cache try get value of x y out of our potential. Right. Theoretically, 375, 375, it helps if you type it correctly. That's the right answer. Okay. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that, was, that was a lot harder than it should have been. Um, kind of like yesterday. Yesterday was a very math problem. Um, I am not super strong in math, which is why we went sort of struggle a lot and then ended up turning off the stream and then thinking about it while there's no pressure to sort of perform and then figuring it out. Um, similarly, this problem is a route finding problem fundamentally, right? Um, and so it just seemed like the best way to sort of find the route was to go backwards. Um, Right, because we're just trying to find the best. And um, the best is always gonna be the lowest cost. If you start backward, then the lowest cost is sort of naturally computed all the way around, right? Um, and then uh, there are a lot of things in our input that probably never got computed. So like these, a bunch of these A's were never hit um, just because they probably just never made sense. Uh, to get hit, um, and which is why um, here we had to actually go through and only only hit the things where it was sort of like a legitimate path that we actually cared about. Because I think, um, like for example, right, these A's that are buried in C's, like look at this, this is C, 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 right? You can never get out of those A's. It doesn't matter how far, how many times you try. So when we found backward paths, we never found paths from any of these C's into any of these A's because they weren't legitimate paths, right? So yeah, that's that's why it ended up that way. And that's why a bunch of these A's turned out to not have values, but that's okay because we went backwards. Um, and you know, where we sort of failed in the beginning was we, uh, by trying to go from the start, we had an, basically an unbounded problem going out. Whereas if we start from the end and we go back, we're always just looking at the most optimal path all the way back. Um, you know, and, and we basically traced a path to every node and then we were done. Okay, so I guess that's it. Um, not expecting a great score today because obviously I spent a lot of time figuring out what the first algorithm was gonna be. So I don't know, we'll see, but we mostly do these for fun. Little competitive with friends, but eh, not that serious. So um, I'll see you tomorrow.